All right, so left off on connecting one of the blend shapes here, uh, eyebrow up and down. Um, go ahead and I'm going to do one more so that you guys can sort of see. Um, what I'm going to do with this one, I'll just do like a, I'll bring the lips together and close them. Something like that. So, um, and I'm gonna just bring this up slightly because I don't want so much texture stretching on there. You can sort of still see the lips there. So if I were to have this be added and not use a set driven key, I could simply Go ahead and I'm just going to touch this up slightly. Okay. Pretty good. Good enough for the for this example. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Okay. So here, we've got something like this. So I made it the mouth closed, so I'm going to add mouth close. So if you were to do like phonemes, A, E, whatever, O, U, um, consonants, M, F, V, L, um, you'll be able to uh, do those phonemes just like this. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this, shift select here, and go to my animation tab, anime deform, blend shape, add, and now here I should have an additional controller. These are red because they're controlled by set driven key. This one will be con connected using the connection editor. So I'm going to go here, modify, add attribute. I can call this lips close. And go ahead. Uh, this minimum will be zero and the maximum will be one. And I'll hit add. So now I've got my other controller here, and what I'll do is instead of um, using a set driven key on, in this case, I'm going to go to my Windows General Editor and go to my Connection Editor. From this point, I need to get the um, facial blend shape node over here. And just by reloading right, this is just a mesh. It doesn't have the blend shape node with the weights that we need in there. So we need to go to Windows, Hypergraph Connections, and you'll see Facial Expressions 1 Blend Shape. So in here, we select it from the Hypergraph Connections, reload right, and now you'll see we have Facial Expressions 1. So we have to make sure that we select that. And we can only do that by selecting the head and then checking the, the connections in the hypergraph connections editor. So now um, I've got this here. And under weight, I have mouth close. So I go down here. I have lips close. And I'm going to connect that to my mouth close. And then I'm going to hit close. And I can close out of this. And now let's check the controller. And the lips close. So. I could also do another one that's mouth open, but you get the idea. And I can also now run a eyebrow up or down. And it's really neat because between 
once you get a bunch of controllers in, uh, doesn't look like this is connected. Um, oh, it is connected. I just haven't bound it yet. So, um, between the jaw controller here and the head controls here, facial expressions, um, we can get a lot of movement. So we've gone through set driven key on the eyebrow and uh, connection editor here on the mouth. So that's uh, another way to do blend shapes on uh, connecting them to a controller. And, and the last way is um, instead of if you see one of those controller schemes that's you know above the head or to the side of the head that's got a whole bunch of uh, names and um, little sliders like that, that's exactly what we did here with our jaw control except we connected it to a joint which you could do essentially with a slider as well so that is the same exact principle as that and um, also we we've gone over how to do it with the connection editor so um, there's another way to do blend shapes uh, thanks for watching